Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another auction haul. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few more items from my most recent auction haul. I've just picked out random items. Also, it might be a little bit of a longer video again. So if you want to grab yourself a cup of tea or pause this video halfway through and, you know, like watch the rest of it later on or something, whatever you want to do, that's fine. Um, and yeah, um, we will get on with this and I will share with you the first item. So first off, we've got this uh, little Staffordshire figure here entitled the death of Nelson. I'm assuming that's uh, Lord, Nel Lord Nelson. Um, now, I don't know much about him. I don't know whether he died in old age or whether he died in battle. And I can't really work it out on this scene whether this, like, he did die in battle or whether this was just him dying, like, after a battle or something. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to do a bit more research on Nelson. Um, but, yeah, essentially, nice little figure here. Um, unfortunately, it's not worth as much as I thought. I was hoping that this would be worth about £30 plus postage, but it's just not worth that, really. Um, about half of that is what, you, what you're what you looking to get. £15 plus postage, maybe £20. So I think I've seen one or two of these go for £20 plus post. So, yeah, I'm probably going to shoot for £20 plus post, but a bit of a shame that, you know, it wasn't worth as much as I was thinking. This just came in a random box, so it wasn't necessarily that I bought a box based on this item or anything. Um, so it, at the end of the day, whatever it you know, whatever it gets me back it, is a bonus to me. But it is just a, a little bit of a shame that obviously it's not worth as much um, as I was thinking. But yeah, that's that one there. So we've got this nice little Carlton Ware uh, toast rack. Nice uh, though it is, it's not worth a lot of money, and I already knew that before. Um, you know, before buying uh, the lot that this was in. A lot of Carlton wear just... I don't know whether it's just the fact that it's just not in fashion at the moment or, you know, just people aren't really getting on board with it anymore. People really don't want it anymore. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I'm sh I'm assuming that at some point it's going to come back around again and, and, and these kind of things will be a bit more... Uh, worth a little bit more money again. Um, you can see on the bottom there... Oh, it's wrong way around. You can see on the bottom there, Carlton wear, and then it's the Australian design. A lot of the Carlton wear you'll see... Uh, is that Australian design. Now, I don't know on here, I'm guessing maybe these two sides are to put like butter and jam or something like that, and then you've got uh, space for two slices of toast in there. But yeah, something like this, I'm looking like, well, I'm, I'm going to shoot for about £12.99 plus postage, but I might even need to lower my price lower than that, to be honest. I might even be looking at £10 plus post um, and just wait for, for someone to come along and pick it off, really. So uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, but it's a shame that they're not worth as much as maybe I'd like them to be worth. But yeah, still, that's how it goes, really. But it's still a nice item. It's been hand-painted. It's, uh, you know, there's some work gone into it. And uh, yeah, that's that one. I apologise about the glare on the uh, light in there. But hopefully for some of the bigger items you'll see, there won't be so much glare on there. So next we've got this, uh, well, I don't know whether you can see it there. We've got this Texas Scorpion, which is pretty cool. This is like... Um, I would say, personally, one of the most interesting items of this haul. Uh, just because it's cool, isn't it? It's like there's a scorpion in there. How cool is that? I mean, for some people, it might be really off-putting. And to be honest, I was having that thought uh, for a second when I was uh, handling it and stuff. I was like, ooh, it, you know, it can be a bit off-putting. But uh, you kind of get used to it. Like, I've had it in my hand for quite a while now, you know, uh, just handling it. Um, and, uh, yeah, you kind of just get used to the fact there's a scorpion in there and, and you're just handling it like that. Um, but, yeah, pretty cool. Um, as I say, to some, it might be a bit weird or a bit creepy. But, um, yeah, quite interesting non less and um i've not really seen well i've not seen any of these sell in the uk i've not even seen one on in the uk one is on over in america as you would expect because if this is a texas scorpion this will have come from america one of these or a very similar one is listed for like the equivalent of about 19 pound uh, plus postage over here in the uk um now i was unsure on this one whether I'd be restricted, well, not restricted, but whether I would um, be allowed to sell it or not on eBay. Um, but I think I'm pretty sure it doesn't fall under any restriction, you know, any of the restricted items or anything like that. So I should be okay to sell it. I will double check because you don't want to get your account in any trouble um, by by just being ignorant to that fact. Um, so yeah, essentially, um, I'll double check that, but I think I should be okay on that one. And I'm guessing I'll probably price about 15 to 20 quid and just leave it on there and see if anyone bites on that. But yeah, pretty cool, uh, pretty interesting. Um, yeah, 
which is an unusual item really. So next um, is this sort of, um, I don't know what this would be, I mean it's a serving tray for obviously some sort of food items but I'm not sure what particular food items, like I know that in uh, is it Spain or Italy they do that bread with like uh, tomatoes on and they drizzle like olive oil over it and put basil and stuff on it, I forgot what the name of that bread is called, I'm sure someone will put it in, a, in the comments down below but maybe I was thinking that would probably go on there quite well well, um, yeah, so I don't know, maybe like hors d'oeuvres or something, I haven't a clue. Um, but it's still a nice little tray here, um, and it's been hand-painted with that cockerel in the middle, and then these uh, leaves around here. Um, it's by, uh, well, I can't actually pronounce that name, so you can have a look at the name there for yourself, but I'm not going to pronounce it, because I'll probably get it wrong. Um, and then it's hand-painted, and we've got Portugal at the bottom there. You see a lot of these things, you know, a lot of these kind of uh, hand-painted studio pottery items like this and also plates uh, come out of, like, Portugal and Spain. Generally, they're quite standard, you know, but you can always get kind of minimum £10 plus postage, but generally on something like this, I'm going to shoot for £12.99 or maybe even push that £14.99 plus postage. Um, so it's well worth, you know, if you see things like this with a car boot and they're hand painted and they come from Portugal and someone's only asking a pound from them, uh, for them, then obviously, you know, just go for it and just whack them on um, and, and someone will snap it off, uh, snap it off your hands at some point because people do like these. They like having them around the house and stuff and they're just quite nice to be honest. It's nice for the fact that they are obviously hand painted so yeah that's that one and i'm gonna go get up a similar item as the next item too so again this is a very similar item but this is in the plate form so again this has been hand painted i can't see what this impressed mark is at the back here don't know what that says but again i'm guessing this will have come from like you know spain or portugal somewhere like that it might not have done but because uh, obviously I can't see on the on the back there, but um, it probably has done, and it's uh, really nice-ish. You know, it's got a very uh, bold design. Really, it's got this bird in the middle. I'm not sure what bird that is, and then we've got all these flowers around it as well. Again, as I said, hand painted. Uh, nice little plate, this one, and again, probably about twelve ninety nine plus postage. I'm going to go on that one. Um, I used to sell these for like nine ninety five plus postage, but sometimes they were going quite quick. So you know, not generally just this one, but all the different variants of them you get and I was selling for like 9 95 plus postage and some of them were going quite quick so sometimes now I, I put these on for 12 99 plus postage and see if I can just push the price up a little bit really so yeah that's that one anyway still nice little item there and as I say similar to the last item as well so we've got a little book now well, I say a little book it's a big book actually we've got the illustrated London news silver jubilee record uh, number 1910 to 1935. Uh, quite a cool book this is. It's got loads of different things in. Uh, really cool, actually. I'll show you. Try and open it up uh, here. Oh, one second. So we've got loads of illustrations and stuff in there. And it's really, a really nice book. Um, and I thought it would be worth more than it is. But a lot of people have got these on for £10 plus postage. So, yeah, that's just what I'm going to go for. A bit of a shame. I thought it might be worth a little bit more. But it actually uh, came in a job lot with a load of newspapers and souvenir programs and all the rest of it for £10 plus commission. So, you know, this item and then one other item at £10 will basically get me my money back and a bit of profit. So, can't complain there on that little job lot. Um, and yeah, that's that book anyway there. So it's a bit of a shame it's not worth more, but still. So it's a nice little book. So very quickly, I'll just hold these up to the camera very briefly. We all know these, obviously, standard brass candlesticks. These are a little bit shorter than uh, some of the others we see. Um, and they've kind of got like a, an oval base rather than a but a rounded base, um, but yeah, still very, very standard, probably just going to go £10 plus post on them, and you know, they don't necessarily sell really quick, some of them do, it depends on obviously the style of the candlestick, and you know, like uh, some of the barley twist ones can sell a bit quicker, um, but yeah, it really depends on the style of them, and, and all the rest of it, and, and what the quality is, and, and obviously what the price you're listing them at is, um, but yeah, these are just standard ones, so just like £10 plus postage on them too. So again, something else I'm not going to spend too long on because I talked about carved figures in my last video. This has got like a little accessory, like a little necklace or something on here. Uh, I have seen them with these necklaces before, but I don't think I've ever had one with them. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to go 
10 quid, 12.99 plus postage again. Seems like the, the range for this whole 12.99 plus postage is a lot of stuff. But yeah, generally that's probably what I'm going to go for on that. And then it can sell whenever it uh, wants to sell really. So yeah, quite a nice little item, but fairly standard. Ethnic figures, as I talked about last time, they're worth picking up, but... Like, you know, they're not the quickest sellers. So if you're picking them up, try and get them for like 50p or a pound. Flip them into, you know, £10, 12.99, And then maybe if it's a good one, you might be able to get £15 or £20 plus post. And, you know, just pick them up for, for a decent price. I generally try and go off about a pound, uh, you know, sort of a pound, maybe a pound 50 maximum. Uh, you know, if I'm getting them in an auction job lot or whatever, I try and work it out like that. Um, but yeah, the actual, the auction job that these came in, I got these for a very, very cheap per piece. It was way, way less than a pound. So I was really, really happy with that. But yeah, so, you know, just pick them up when you can for, for cheap, really, these things. So a little bit more Carlton wear. I've got one more of a piece of Carlton wear. It's like a, a it's kind of like a shallow dish, this one. It's not a very, um, a deep dish anyway. Um, we've got some flowers on the side there. And then we've got this yellow design here, like a yellow leaf. Um, and, you know, most Carlton wear are, are these, like, kind of leaf designs or floral designs. Uh, we've got Carlton wear on the back again. Australian design is this again. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, again, no, probably go about 12 99 I have to say, on that one. Um, and if I have to come down, then I have to come down because, as, as I say, these things... I just aren't Carlton Wedge just doesn't seem to be worth that much money these days, so I'm not gonna go into that any more than needs to be gone into, but yeah. Um, so that's that one really and then I've got one other slightly larger piece of Carlton wear that I might go a little bit higher on um, but I'm not too sure so yeah that's that one there anyway so next we've got a slightly nicer piece in this one here um, it's yeah I would assume this is hand painted does it say on the bottom it's hand painted well it doesn't say on the bottom but yeah I'd say that's been hand painted um, so yeah, this is really nice here. We've got this sort of floral design around here. Um, obviously it looks pretty much Art Deco. Um, and it's, yeah, it's pretty nice, this one. It's by, uh, where, where are we here? It's by, can you see that? Weather, is it Weatherby? Hanley, Weatherby Hanley, and then Falcon Wear at the bottom there. And um, so yeah, quite a nice looking bowl, that one. I couldn't find it on Complete and Solds, but I'm thinking I'll go about $24.99. Uh, maybe push twenty nine ninety nine on that, but probably twenty four ninety nine something like that. Nice little bowl. It shouldn't take too long to sell that one. I wouldn't imagine as long as I use the right keywords and stuff because it is quite nice. I I I find a lot of appeal in it anyway. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I think that someone else should uh, should think that as well. So yeah, that's that one there. Nice little bowl there. So next we've got this um, Namaji M E uh, M E. Uh, not M E N E N E M A D J I Namaji. I think that's how you say it. Namaji on there. You probably can't make that out quite, but maybe you can. I'm not sure. Uh, USA and then it's Namaji Pottery. Um, now, obviously, I don't know much about that name. You know, obviously, if that name is something big then obviously it'll attribute more value to the piece. But just looking at it for what the piece is. It's a fairly standard piece. It's not going to be any, you know, higher than like fourteen ninety nine plus postage. And for me, that would probably be pushing it. Um, but yeah, it depends on if that name is worth. So uh, like, if the pieces from that name are going for good money, uh, because of because it's from that name, then obviously it'll be worth more. But for what it is, I can't really see it being worth tons of money. Um, and I don't think that name would be would make it you know, tons valuable or anything. So I'm not sure. Obviously, I have to do a bit more research into that before attributing a complete value to it. Um, but yeah, still, it's a pretty standard item. Um, but still, it's quite nice, like this ripply effect here. I, I wouldn't even know what you call it. I don't know whether it would be called a ripple effect, but it's pretty cool that um, kind of like a cascading effect or rippling or cascading. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, but that's that one anyway. Oh, also on that last piece, um, it is quite interesting to know that that's from the USA because I've not really had much studio pottery that's from the USA. Mainly, you know, the, a lot of the studio pottery stuff that I get is either made in this country or it's kind of like, you know, Spain, Portugal, uh, you know, European 
Uh, it's not generally so much USA. So, it, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the bulk of it, as you would expect, uh, the studio pottery that I get, it, it comes from this country. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's interesting to have something from the USA, at least. So, we've got this Napoleon figure. Now, I don't, if I remember rightly, I don't think I could find this on Complete and Sold. But I'm thinking it's not actually going to be worth tons of money maybe like 25 quid 20 25 quid on this you can see also it has some heavy um what's it called heavy crazing on here to the body and also it has some crazing to here as well on the base a lot of these staffordshire figures uh, do have that um i don't know whether it's maybe the way they're made that it makes them more prone to crazing or something i'm really not sure or whether that is actually purposefully put in uh like I don't know, no, he probably wouldn't purposefully put it in, would be so. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe they're just more prone to crazing some of these figures. Um, so yeah, I'm probably thinking not a lot of money on this, as I said, but I've not found it on Complete and Sold, so I'm going to have to like, do a bit of a deeper check on this, because maybe it is worth more than that, but I can't really see it being worth much more than that if it is. So, um, yeah, that's that one there anyway. Um, I think I mentioned for the other Staffordshire figure, some of these Staffordshire figures can be worth some good money. So it's always worth doing plenty of research into them to make sure that you're obviously hitting the nail on the head with regards to price and, and just getting the pricing right. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So I'm going to go through these very quick because we've got four uh, glass bottles here. This one isn't you know particularly anything special in terms it's not got a cod neck on it or it's not a torpedo bottle or anything like that i'll share with you a, an example of a cod neck bottle in a minute um so this is thomas and uh yeah thomas and sugar uh t and, and s crystal um what does it say here 39 hyde road manchester and you can see it's a little embossed bottle, uh, plenty of these around, you know, pretty standard. But obviously you've got to look at what's on the uh, embossing really. And then certain types of bottles will be worth more. I'm not an expert in this. I haven't a clue really what to look for. I know there's like certain, um, you know, I think certain colours of bottles represent certain different things. Like I think there's a certain colour of bottle that represents that it's had a poison in it at some point and, and stuff like that. But... You know, I'm not brilliant with it. Sometimes, um, generally, like a lot of the brewer's bottles that have had beer in and stuff like that, they're, like, pretty standard, depending on the name, of course, as well. But then you can sometimes get some, like, mineral water ones and stuff like that that can go a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, I'm probably just going to end up putting most of these on at sort of a standard range of anywhere from £10 to... I don't know, twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine at a push. Um, but most of these are probably nine ninety five or, or twelve ninety nine plus post. Um, so yeah, we've got that one there. Um, I'll go through. I'll get this cod neck one. So this is a cod neck bottle. Um, I don't know why it's called that. I'm assuming it must be because it it you know, put to the side there. It looks like the neck of a cod. I don't know. I'm just making this up. Go and do some research for yourself. I can't do all the research. I need to do more research for myself. But yeah, you can. Can you hear that in there? It's got like a little marble or a little little ball in there, a little glass ball. And uh, yeah, it just shakes around. Now, I don't know what that's for. Is that maybe to stop the flow of uh, liquid coming out so fast or something? I'm not sure. Um, but there we go. It's embossed there as well. Um, Spencer, Connor and Co. Uh, Manchester. Quite a nice looking little bottle, this one. I think I'm going to go like 12 99 maybe even a little bit higher on that one. Obviously, with it being a cod neck bottle, sometimes cod neck bottles can be a bit more desirable than just these bottles. Um, so, yeah, that's that one there anyway. Next, we've got this Henry Herdus. Yeah, Henry Herdus Long Lane um, Hollin Wood uh, bottle there. And again, we've got the embossing on there. Um, and, yeah, obviously, um, if you're listing these, you know, a good word to put in the title is embossed. Um, and, I, like, generally, what do I put in the title for these? Like, um, embossed, I put uh, clear glass bottle, I put, like, collectible, I put... It's hard with these glass bottles because you can put the name in there. Obviously, the name is a, is a brilliant keyword. And then maybe you could put the place in there, like, on this one. Well, let's say on this one. Where was it there on this one? Was it this one? Yeah. So, on this one, I'd put, like, in the title... Uh, vintage Codnet Bottle, uh, Spencer Connor & Co, uh, Manchester Embossed Clear Glass Bottle, or something something like that um, when I'm structuring my title. But it can be something that's quite hard to put decent keywords in for some of these bottles. But you can kind of use what you've got to work with on the item and, and try and fill out the titles well, because 
The problem with these glass bottles is if you do not fill out the titles well, they will sit for a very long time. If you fill out the titles well, you've got a better shot of them selling a little bit faster. But even so, a lot of these glass bottles are going to be slow sellers. You're probably going to be sat on them for a while. Uh, generally, you know, if I list one, I don't expect it to sell for three, four, five, six months. Um, sometimes it'll surprise me and it'll go really quick. Like it'll go within a few days or a week or whatever. But generally, even no matter how much you pad out the titles, they're going to be quite slow. But if you don't pad out your titles at all, what I've found is that they just sit there forever. Like I'm talking like a year, year and a half. So yeah, just make sure to put as many keywords in your titles as possible with these glass bottles. And there's just one more to show you. And then we've got this other uh, Codnet bottle, J Lang. I actually quite like this one. This is pretty cool. J Lang. Um, and then we've got Manchester there. And you can see... We've got a little marble or the glass uh, glass ball in there as well. So yeah, pretty cool on that one as well. Um, so as I mentioned, you know, sort of standard range, anywhere from ten pound to twelve ninety nine, maybe at a push fourteen ninety nine. So yeah, that's those there. And then we're coming to the end now. This is the second to last item. We've got this very very large round head pewter. That's the makers. Um, it big like serving tray, meat platter, whatever you want to call it. Really, um, it's got this design in here. Um, which is pretty cool, you know, loads of different designs in here, a few leaves on here, um, and I don't know whether it's got a hammered effect to it, or whether it's actually been hammered, um, but yeah, it's still a very, very nice piece, this one. I have got this on pretty high, I, I did actually shoot for 39.99 plus my postage, whether I get that, you know, is another thing. I might need to come down by a tenner or something like that. Um, but, you know, if I wait for the right, right person, I, I should be able to get that at some point. But it might be a longer sale, you know, if I'm trying to get that £39.99. Um, but, yeah, I thought I would go high on this one because I do really like this. I think it's a cool item. And I'll just show you the uh, brand here. Oh, also, it has, like, these um, little four little feet on the bottom of it which is pretty cool because sometimes they don't have these little feet on them so that's quite cool to see and uh, oh i have to flip it around the other way i think is that yeah i have to flip it around the other way to show you the brand here i don't even know whether you're, i'm gonna be able to see whether that's showing up on camera but yeah there's the brand anyway round head i don't know whether you'll see that very well but yeah so uh yeah nice item that one as I say, I have gone high on it, so we'll see on that one. I might need to bring it down a bit, but yeah, that's that one there. And then finally, uh, this like sort of pedestal bowl, bowl pedestal bowl, pedestal bowl. Um, I don't know. I suppose you could use it for a, fr a fruit bowl or something like that. And this is Carlton Ware again. Um, if we look in here, we've got a nice little uh, foxglove design on this side here, and then we've got like this yellow leaf design again. And there you go on this side here. We've also got is that foxglove again? I think it is. Um, and yeah, it's a nice little bowl. Um, but again, as I've mentioned countless times in this whole video. A lot of this Carlton wear isn't really doing that well at the moment. So I'm probably just going to shove this on for about $14.99 plus postage and hope that it does go at some point. Um, you know, I think at that, that price, it should be desirable to go because it is quite a nice piece, this one. It's got, um, you know, it's, it's quite a big piece as well. And I think someone would, would like that for $14.99. So, um, yeah, hopefully that should go at some point. But, you know, with these Carlton wear stuff... Uh, there is quite a lot of competition as well, so that's the other thing you've got to assess, you know, because it is fairly common, you know, there are more on there, so that can also drive the price down as well. So anyway, that's the uh, last piece there. I'll just give you a final quick look at that one there. I uh, didn't really give you too much of a look inside there, but it is quite a nice look looking little bowl there. So yeah, that is everything. I will leave it there for this whole video, guys. If you enjoyed it, then please do give it a like down below. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe. And if you'd like to see any more of these whole videos in the future, drop a comment down below, all the rest of it. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon.